Good morning everyone. Welcome back to another match day vlog. Why am I doing this? I have no idea. It's half five in the morning. It's an early one today. 12.30 kickoff, Manchester Derby. Will Manchester be red or will it be blue? We're gonna find out if we turn up today. Join me in Manchester and let's see if we get that W. We have arrived in Manchester, it's quarter to nine. It's gonna be a rainy one today, but I just hope we can get three points. That's all I want, that's all I want today. A good performance and three points. I know my confidence is low at the moment, but I need to try and keep the faith, I need to try and keep that belief that we're gonna get the job done. If I was to try and think of what lineup Bolly's gonna go with, I think he'll still go with 3 5 2. De Gea in goal. Lindelof is an injury doubt, but I still think he'll play anyway. We already know Oli likes to play injured players. Maguire, he'll definitely play. I think he might still be injured, but he will definitely play. Eric Bay has been brilliant since he came in. He's got a start. Wambasaka sure is the wing backs in the midfield. Obviously, it's going to be McFred, Bruno Fernandes in the 10. Up front, Cristiano Ronaldo. That's so obvious. And Marcus Rashford. You know, going into this game, we have to be the counter attacking team. If we're stupid enough to do what we did against Liverpool and try and be a pressing team, we're going to get destroyed. So we got to hit City on the counter. That's how we always beat them. That's why we've done the double over them last season. It's got, got to be on the counter attack. Need to use our pace and beat them. That's the only way we're going to win this game. We try and play football with them. They're going to tear us apart. So let's hope Oli keeps that in mind. And at the end of it, let's just hope we win. <sighs> just making my way to the ground. I've just been thinking about our squad and how Oli has misused them. Oli's favouritism that's clearly damaging the team. It's crazy to think, like Donny van der Beek, for example, Dutch international, or was, you know, when he was with Ajax, he was playing in the Champions League, playing for the Netherlands, comes to Man United, and now he's out of the Dutch squad because he can't get game time. Obviously, Van Howe's not gonna pick you if you ain't playing games. And it's the same with Alex Tellers as well. Brazil international, played for Porto, one of the best left backs in the world, comes to Man United. And now, obviously he's not getting game time. He's now not in the Brazil squad. Jesse Lingard goes to West Ham gets his career back on track, comes back to Man United, not playing football. Gareth Southgate's not chosen him for England. Jadon Sancho, Dortmund week in, week out. England comes to Man United, an 80 million pound winger who's now sitting on the bench and obviously will not be playing as a wing back. So he's not been called up by Southgate for England either. All these top internationals under Oli, and so far the only thing Oli's done is a good job of killing their international careers. It's crazy. They cannot get game time 
and now they're not going to get any international football. It's shocking and I hope I'm not the only one that sees it. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is destroying careers. It's crazy. All I can hope is that he can use the squad properly and these guys can get their careers back on track because the World Cup is next year and I'm sure they want to be selected. But as long as they're under this management and coaching, it's not going to happen. It's really, really sad to see. But I just hope for, I hope for change. I'm sticking by my guns. I'm still Oli out. But at the end of the day, I want to win. And we know that the way Oli's setting up now, he's obviously trying to save his job. That's the only reason why we're playing this formation is to save his job. But let's see how long it lasts. Maybe to the end of the season, maybe till Christmas, you never know. But if I'm being 100% honest with you, I'm not expecting much out of this season. Top four, that's going to be a struggle because there's so many quality teams around us. We've got an amazing squad of individuals. It might save us in the end, it might not. But we just have to wait and see. You think about all the young players we got coming through. Ghana, Mengi, Shiratire, Hannibal, Elango. We got Palestri out on loan. We got Diallo. I mean, all this young talent, the future. Do you really trust Ole Gunnar Solskjaer and the coaches to bring them through? and help develop their careers. Obviously, first thing I would do, every single one of them, get out on loan for two years at championship clubs or even Premier League clubs that are mid-table where they're guaranteed to play football. Honestly, that's exactly what I would do because you know that is the only way that their careers are gonna head in the right direction. But I just don't have any faith that Oli will do that. You know, I really wish I could have more faith in this manager. I really do. I don't know it might come across that I'm moaning, but I'm genuinely worried. I really am worried about the future of this young squad. And you think the likes of Mason Greenwood, you know, he is a generational talent and he's not even in the England squad. And with this system, the great start he's made to the season. Does Mason Greenwood fit into the 3-5-2? He's on the bench. <laughs> it is really worrying. It really is worrying. But all I could do is hope for the best for all these young players because they're very young in their careers and they need to be on the right track. All I can do is hope for the best for them.
points. Please do not let me down today. Please just turn up. Crowd is buzzing. Let's get something out of this game. Time 2 0 to Manchester City. The game is over. We are absolutely god awful. City have ran us off the park. They've been by far the better team. I'm done with Manchester United. I don't even know why I bothered coming today. It's an absolute joke. You can hear the City fans celebrating in the background. We are so poor. I'll tell you what, it would be 5 or 6 to City right now, but because David De Gea has kept it at 2 0. He's pulled off at least six, seven world-class saves. But we're done. We're not getting out of this. I don't see much changing. Oli out. He's got to go. Ten minutes to go when we put Van der Beek on. It's about bloody time. Four minutes of added time. Just put us out of our misery, please. United nil, Manchester City two. We are, we're god awful. It's just embarrassing. We're not a football club anymore. The only difference between this game and Liverpool is that David De Gea made more world-class saves to keep it a 2-0. One point from 15, that's a relegation form. That's sackable. We are dead as a club and we will never change unless Oli leaves. Oli and his coaches have got to go. Oli out. I've said it before, I'll say it again. Oli out. He's got to go. There's nothing else I can say. We're not a football club. I just, I'm numb to it now. I'm absolutely numb to it. I don't recognise this place anymore. Ollie out. Guys, make sure you like, subscribe and share. I won't be back until early December when we play Arsenal at home. I've got no confidence, but I'll be here for you. Anyway, guys, I'm getting out of here. I'll catch you soon.